What's up? Chunky but Funky here. And yes, I am back and ready to be in action. My uh, other phone is RIP'd. Got a new phone. So I'm ready to do this shit. Uh, at ready to end this motherfucking chapter to this motherfucking trilogy of this story time. And so I'm going to tell you guys the end of the story. So let's get right into it before this uh, video gets too long. End of the story. End of the my best friend tried to kill me. So I think I was at the end where um, she was fighting with my mom. They got her. They got them apart. I called the ambulance. Um, then I called the police too, cause I didn't know what the fuck this bitch was like. I don't know. She was. On, I don't know. She was on some kind of fucking drug, but um, so they pulled them apart. I ran out. I came out of the house as soon as I was done calling. I came out of the house um, like, okay, what's going on? She's standing there and I'm just looking at her like, what the fuck? She looked like a fucking zombie. I should you not. She looked like a motherfucking zombie. And I was like, what the fuck is this bitch on? Her blood all in her fucking hair. She, mind you, she had blonde hair, so that should look crazy. And then there was fucking blonde weave all over the fucking lawn and shit anyway so she just went walking down the street down the motherfucking block like and we're just looking at her like and we look at each other like should we stop her like like what should we do and she just went not walking on her merry little way just down the street just walking like a, i don't know if somebody saw her they probably fucking got scared because she looked like a motherfucking zombie and yeah and after that after that i heard like she was all right or whatever supposedly like her nose was broken or some shit but i don't know i didn't really even i didn't really even like actually the police came they're like oh you want to press charges i'm like nah like we i mean i fucked her up like she was fucked up we all fucked like she was fucked up and he was like yeah she like after they caught up to her and they were like yeah she looked pretty fucked up because i guess they wanted her to see if she was wanted to see if she was okay and shit so the p police were like, oh, she 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 looked pretty fucked up. And I'm like, no, I ain't trying to press no charges because, nah, I'm like, I was a little scared. But, I mean, it was just, I don't know, it was just weird because it's different when you fight with somebody that you love. It's scary. Like, it's, I really love this girl. Like, she was my best friend. Like, we went through a lot together. And at that time, a little bit before that, you know, I'm going to go into a little detail of, you know, what we went through. But at that time, she was going through it with her boyfriend's family. And they got kicked out because they were living with his family. And they got kicked out. And she came to stay with me. And, I, like, at first I had her staying with me because I had, my, I had my own room and I had my own back door. So I was kind of, like, sneaking them in, her and her boyfriend staying with me. Because I didn't think that my aunt was going to be okay with that. Um, my aunt, which is my mom, I'm just going to say my mom from now on, but my, I didn't think my mom was going to be okay with that because my mom is very, um, I don't know, she could be strict at times, so, uh, she, I didn't think she would be okay with her and her boyfriend staying. So I was sneaking them in for a while, but eventually, um, you know, she found out and she was like, you know what, they could stay in the living room, you have a baby, you know, you need your privacy with your daughter, like, to put her to sleep and stuff like that. I don't want a man staying in your room. Like, while you have your kid and shit like that, regardless of whatever. She's like, they could go ahead and stay in the living room. So, you know, they were staying with us for a while and sleeping in our living room. And my aunt helped them. Well, my mom helped them find a, a house, a little apartment. And we gave them stuff. Like, we gave them furniture and stuff like that. Because that was my girl. That was my girl. Like, she was family, you know. That's how me and my family are. If you're my best friend, you're, you're, you're our family. You know what I mean? I want, I'm trying to get in frames to show you guys my shirt tacos and tequila <laughs> um so yeah like I, I was trying to help this girl because she was going through some shit so she was after that like she was um you know they were doing good after that my aunt would help them here and there you know we would buy them stuff from the 99 cent store and we helped them get on their feet get their own place and stuff like that because they were both working and shit so 
yeah and for my for my mom to go out of her way you know what i mean like to do that for one of my friends it it, it really like meant a lot to me and she really didn't have to help her and i mean then after like i started kind of feeling i started kind of feeling some type of way about her because she was like, oh, she started saying like, oh, um, yeah, me and my boyfriend fucked in your, in your mom's house. And to me, like, that's disrespectful. Like, you don't do that. Someone's in you stay at their house. Like, you don't fucking do that. Like, you know what I mean? But that kind of disrespected. So I kind of like, I kind of like started backing up from her between that time because then she was like cheating on her boyfriend and then some messy, like some little messy shit in between was happening. But, see, the thing about it is that I never, I never, like, we never fought. Like, we never was, I never was like, bitch this and bitch you and bitch that and bitch blah, blah, blah. Like, it never was like that. I was just, like, started to feel, like, a little bit disrespected on how the way she was acting. And I think it was because of the fact that they were drinking. They like to drink together. But, yeah, I mean, that was the end of the story. Like, after, that was... In between but after that after we fought and all that I haven't talked to her since um my aunt said that because she goes to a salon that's how we got reacquainted in the first place was she goes to a salon that um her aunt owns so and then she was always there too and she cut hair but she cut men's hair so she uh, does haircuts but my aunt you know said that she had seen she had seen her after and she did eventually end up having kids, which, you know, I don't know. I don't think she should have. But anyway, so she uh, saying, oh, saying that she was sorry, blah, 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 whoop de whoop And I'm just like, you know what? For as long as we were friends and for as much as that we, we did, to, did for her, I would at least want her to call me and apologize to me for what she did. And how it went down and for her putting her hands on my mother and for her putting her hands on me and for her potentially harming my child like you know with her hitting me with my child in my hands like that w was disrespectful like it's not even about you know anything else but respect you know what I mean it, that's a big a big part of you know of my life is respect and respecting people and, and showing respect for people and that's just the way I am respectful be respectful and for her being my friend and she just started like kind of being disrespectful and kind of disrespecting like you know kind of overstepping your boundaries too much and yeah that was about it and I, I mean I think that if she were to apologize and I, I would accept her apology um, my mom has accepted it. She's like, you know what? I accepted her apology. You know, what's done is done. Like, I don't have to see her anymore. Like, she don't come around. So, that's all that matters. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know. I remember all the good times we had together. And I really did develop love for her because she was my best friend. And that's what you do as a best friend. You develop love for your best friend. But, um so if she were to call me and tell me or to see me and come up to me and tell me you know what I'm sorry you know I was embarrassed to call you or I was embarrassed to talk to you or anything like that I, I would accept her apology but it's been years it's been years now so I don't know how I feel about that but you know yeah, I don't have I don't have too much good luck with friends. I don't know why. I feel like I'm a good person. I feel like I'm a good friend. I feel like I write hard for people. And maybe that's my downfall. Maybe because I'm such a good person and because I'm like I'm so righteous and I'm so down for that person, they kind of take advantage of me. And maybe that's why I don't have good luck with friends. I don't know because I I doubt if you were to go to any of my past friends they would tell you anything bad about me because I we've never it's never ended on a term where I was malicious or I was like fuck that bitch whoop de whoop blah 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 like it was like you know we were down for each other at one point and you no longer fuck with me I or I no longer fuck with you all right I'm gonna leave it like that because why am I gonna spend my time fucking hating like why am I going to spend my time hating somebody when I could spend my time being happy and being into my family and loving my children like why am I going to do that like why there's no point so 
to me, I just end the relationships, the friendships as, you know, we, we rocked together. Now we don't. That's it. Like, I loved you at one point and that's it. It's mutual. Like, you, you're, you know, I, I still hear like some of my ex friends talking shit about me, but I'm just like, why, why are you like, why do you even still fucking have my name in your mouth? Like, why do you care? Why aren't you like worrying about what the fuck you're doing or worrying about your life or worrying about your getting somewhere in life than fucking worrying about me or talking about me or caring about me when you could fucking be caring about other shit? Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, it's not like, it's like some people think, oh, you're, you're addressing it, you're talking about it, so you care about it. No. It's like, yeah, I hear about it. Come on. Like, I'm not going to fucking, I'm a human being. I'm not going to fucking pretend like it, like I didn't hear about it. But it's like, it's just like I'm over here doing me. Like, why aren't you over there doing you? Why are you still on me? You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I would tell all my friends, all my old friends, it, it's not a lot. It's only a couple, like maybe three three best friends that I no longer speak to and I'm no longer friends with so I no longer have really any close friends but that's cool because I have 82 good friends 82 motherfucking friends that love me right now so fuck all them fuck all them bitches I got 82 82 people right here that fuck with me so fuck it anyway so um yeah I would tell them all you know I love them I loved you at one point like get over it I could get over it you could get over it so that's the end of the story time thank god it's ended <laughs> um hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will be making more better videos because I got a better phone with a better camera and yeah I think I'm gonna make another video right now like of me trying on my sunglasses <laughs> just because I look cute okay bye